All right, here we are. Dawn of Legends finals. I think it's the best of seven. Kaniacs versus mutants. We know some of the people from Kaniacs from their Overwatch careers. Of course, Cal uh, used to be on the LA Gladiators and Overwatch League. Very proficient hit scan player. Played a lot of Ana, played a lot of Zen. And of course, here is going to be playing the Punisher. He's going to be heading directly into this one. No co-cast for map number one, but that's okay. Map number two, we should get one back. Look at this, Pella. Oh, no. The ramp isn't quite enough to move on through. Look at this. Mutants are actually giving up a ton of space here due to Ant getting that early pick. Gets Wisps as well. Ant is absolutely destroying right now. Look at this. this aerial angle makes it so hard for the tanks to actually pressure Ant. Just playing around this high ground is so important. Nuck having to heal through this one. Ant, the second I cut away, of course, gets themselves a pick. Up to the top goes Pella. I think they've got a super jump pack. Cal up top. It's going to be a challenge. Up against the shotgun. Ant's gone too far. The risk was too great. Wisps picks them off. Resurrection. Might well have been available. No. The E has only just been put down. Now with Ant's gone, this is so much room for Wisps to try and work. Is Cal going to go into the midst is the question. So that's control of a high ground. Maybe doesn't want to dismount here. Like to be able to just disengage and give a little bit more safety. Here's Nuke. Warming everybody up. Plenty of healing. Strong Judge, disengage here coming Jerry, through. And SJP is going to move forward now. Huge amounts of damage. Wisps in the sights. Dust broken down instantly. The Groot ultimate just guaranteed the death of a Doctor Strange. And that is going to be a trade. And resurrections on both sides coming through. Multiple players potentially bought in there. Big ult coming through from Vinny. But Vinny's going to be the only one who's a victim of that. Nuke moves forward. Pella's down. TTK. Earlier on, used an Eye of Agamotto. There are two of them who are present. I'm not sure if I actually hit anyone right there. That might well have been a disengage coming through from the side of Frost, just using the ult so that it was going to be expended. Now remember, while that Loki is copied, it's a little bit less healing. And now, once again, we've got to worry about Ant on this off angle. Huge amounts of ults used in the previous fight. Dust might be the decider here. The Eye of Agamotto, a significant advantage over TTK, but you need to break TTK's shield and takes out Wisps early. Now going to be challenged off of this angle. Chased down by the Doctor Strange. SJP managed to take out both tanks with the shotgun off the back of that rocket buff. And this is an ironclad defense here for mutants. Now with a minute and a half remaining. You're Wisps and Dust have to get value out of this, but TTK has a little bit of time to try and catch up on my eye Agamotto. Now halfway, once again, it's going to be a shield-breaking challenge here to make sure that eye Agamotto can get some purchase. Judge, Judge Jury and Executioner. Execution. SJP may need to be shut down here, but remember, he's immune to be control of the eye Agamotto while in this ultimate, trying to just break down the seat. The uh, Doctor Strange from the other side. This is brave for the Heller. Instantly destroyed. Wisps on that side. Doesn't have much in the way of cover. Vinny gets another. Vinny is just him when it comes to these. A big eye of Agamotto. That'll take down Frost. And now, TTK just playing up top. This is the best of seven, so it's still anybody's game. A flight here of the Raccoon. He's going to be staggered. 30 seconds remain. And it's time for Cal to go big. Perhaps an off angle here with the Punisher Ultimate. Has been noted, it seems, by SJP. Step it up, time short. But if there's enough distraction, it can work out. Likely here, what you want to see is a copy coming through from Harvey. But you need to be able to build it first. Give that rocket ultimate. Frost, likely going to copy over here. Give over the amp. SJP going up against Cal. Cal needs to break down these shifts from the Loki. Vinny puts up the walls to cover their own escape. The Eye of Agamotto. It's not enough to take down Cal because, of course, he's immune to all of that incoming CC because of the ultimate. And what about this? A second Judge Jury and Executioner. This time from Frost. And so many of the resources have already been used. It's a perfectly played fight. TTK baited into taking that huge Eye of Agamotto. Vinny's going to try and make this work as Ant has set up on the back line. Look at the clean line of fire. This needs to be taken down too sweet and Indeed it is. Can Cal be taken down? No. A shield gets in the way. It's for peel from dust that makes it happen, and that's going to be a cap. Moving forward, a little bit of extra life given over to the side of Kaniacs. Uh, 
The more the merrier. New can SJP once again with classic combo. Of Rocket and Groot will likely to see the Z come out first. SJP gonna force out some of these walls, some of these resources. There we go. Then there's the amplifier. And of course, coming in afterwards. You can see the amplifier was placed a little bit far forward. It also allowed him to go around this corner and still be amped up. The question is, can you destroy the amplifier in time? Pela unable to avoid the incoming damage. But still, with SJP taken out, this is going to be traded both ways. Vinny fallen down. That's crazy. With Vinny down, it might have to be a disengage here from mutants, even after their huge inge inv investment. Nukes down as well. Kaniacs have managed to turn this one around despite all odds. Only reverses ult was invested here. And they still know that Ant is stuck in the back. I don't think anyone really wants to risk taking this duel, but remember that Ant's going to be so far away from that respawn beacon. If they show their face, then they may be down permanently. Keeping an eye here on Frost. The wall is good. Oh, we've got another portal coming out from TTK here. It's going to have to be counter portals to get everyone onto a point. It's well managed. Out comes a bunch of the utility. It's going to be a copied Rocket Raccoon ultimate coming out of Frost to give everyone a touch more damage as it is Wisp who's taken to the air. Sees Ant on the other side. The amplification means it's so easy. The Groot ult gets everybody in and everybody's going to be executed easily by Cal. Unlimited ammo and faster fire rate on a shotgun are too much to deal with and much faster than the first point was taken. The second is added to the tally of Kaniacs. TTK, slightly ahead of Dust here when it comes to the ultimate. Once again, we're still looking at Cal here to make something happen. Won't have any amplifiers here. When it comes to getting more damage out of that Punisher ultimate, but the damage should be plenty if you can force out early resources. If you're looking for the Z here coming out of the Rocket Raccoon, indeed, Reverse does give over that amount of damage. Doesn't force out too much here, though. In fact, there's some early aggression that comes out. A secondary Rocket Raccoon comes through. And that forces Cal to move forward. Plenty of healing here. Can only take out a clone for the moment. Gets up onto the high ground, but running low on the uptime of this. TTK needs to be taken down, and indeed he is. And goes to the skies and rains down death from above. But still is noted in the back. Takes out one before the fallen reverse was taken down. That's the most valuable potential pick. Yes, it's going to take out a while to get back, but fairly fast when you're on the defense compared to the others. Cal taken down too. And thank you so much for the raid, Lemon. SJP. All that remains now on the defense. And the sub. Hey, Bowd. So proud of how you're doing in Valorant. All right. Dust. With the ultimate here. Question is, how do you break the shield of TTK? Go to a third person to see how these Doctor Strangers are going to play against each other. Early engagement here. SJP. Plenty of damage up against Palo, who's actually walled in. Forced to just try and get their way through the back there. A copy coming through from the Loki. That's going to be an amplifier. Cow controlling this high ground. And it seems like most of these angles are being covered now by Kaniacs. A big group ult grabs in three. Is it going to be too much in the way of follow-up, though? Wall is raised by Pale to get in the way. SJP moves forward. Finally gets Pale in their sights, and the damage is just too great. That's a four-person Eye of Agamotto from Dust. And that could be everything they need. What a clutch from the Doctor Strange. Unbelievable text moving through. The perfect moment. If that could be a full team wipe, this car is going to get some distance. Oh, I'm loving Marvel Rivals. It is popping off. And any of these fights seem truly winnable. All right, one last fight to rule them all. A portal's coming from somewhere. Oh, they're trying to stop. Oh, they've actually portaled both of the of the doors so the people can't get through. Unbelievable portaling there. What a play from Dust. This man is on a different level. Solo won that last fight with the Eye of Agamotto and then seals off both the spawn doors with the portal. Unbelievable plays from Dust. Well, here's a look at your scoreboard. Thus far, Wisps and Cow, they've been performing super well. Ant has unfortunately died nine times. Not sure if that's down to 1v1s not going their way, or if it's down to just the momentum breaking, all the plan making that mutants were trying to do after Kaniacs took that first point. 
It felt like since that first point, it's just been momentum carrying Kaniacs through. I don't think we're going to see any changes here when it comes to the meta composition. Quickly checking in on our healer's damage numbers here. Seems like we're getting uh, a lot of contributions from Nuck and Harvey. Meanwhile, Frost and Reverse. To a little bit more focused in on keeping those tanks alive. Makes sense considering the dearth of damage that Pell has been taking. Huge amounts of damage taken by that group. And it seems like Vinny really is a difference maker in so many of these games where Vinny is a super high damage group getting a lot of value out of that spawn grenade. I'll give you a little bit more of a Vinny POV here so we can explore how he's hitting such high damage numbers. Maybe getting a lot of uh, value out of those entangling walls as well. Nice ball grenade to open up with. We've got a little bit of high ground there for Pela. Pela seems to be using a couple more of these like slanted walls in order to try and get themselves high ground, but honestly it is minimizing their peel capacity. Let's have a quick look at what angles are being taken here by the hit scans. It's cheeky angles from Cal. Wants to try and control the high ground. Oh, hello. We've got a flank being cooked here by Ant. It's going to be the perfect angle. It's going to find the respawn beacon to begin with, and that's huge. Respawn beacon down. Doesn't go for a quick reload, and now has to hit it in this cliff. I've always going to be forced to disengage. Wisps versus Ant. Ant gets one in the back. The value's huge, remember. The respawn won't be forthcoming. That's still on a long cooldown. Now Cal is going to try and close the distance with the shotgun. What an absolute mad cunt he is. They are popping off on the Punisher. Beautiful play from Cal. They certainly are making themselves known in yet another game. TTK with the Eye of Agamotto. We've seen big plays from him previously. Once Pella. Oh, wait. I think that the enemy Doctor Strange may have been stunned out of their own eye there. Huge play to get one over on Dust. SJP is going to be rezzed up now. And certainly it seems like uh, we, will still, we, we will have seen Wisps return. SJP to the top. Got himself a mega jump, but it's Cal on the other side. Oh, Cal. An overpeak too far. The pocket was unavailable. A Groot ultimate here, but it's blocked off by the side of Vinny. Keeps everyone alive for a moment. A second Punisher out as well comes on through. And Frost, even with the copy. Oh, both Lokis copying the Punishers. Unable to really get as much done as Harvey was. And that's going to be it. That's going to be a quick cap coming through for the side of mutants. That was all in, essentially. I think every ult that was available got used in that fight. And it's taken a very aggressive angle here, but it's backed up by TTK. Seems like the exploding knives don't hit, but Dust is now going to be isolated. Likely going to be running low on shield as well, but without the crow to chase, I think the ant's going to just leave this one. Of course, doesn't really have much in the way of... HP to try and make this work either. Grabs the Mega. Dust being on this angle might not be ideal. It's going to force some movement from the healers to try and get some real motion on it. There's going to be some pressure coming through from the Punisher. Oh, Ant decides to try and re relieve this pressure with some long-range damage. Oh, nice teleport onto the health back. Dust still isolated here. There needs to be some help for Ant. Can't take the 1v1 against the Strange because it's just so meaty. And it seems like Dust on this off angle has just been unable to be dislodged. There just isn't that much in the way of attention being put this way by the side of mutants. They're just letting Kaniacs control that angle mostly for free and trading it for progress on the car. Finally, Dust is going to fall down. That's going to be full damage coming through from SJP. And Frost is noted in the back. I don't think you're going to be able to escape this one, but another full white. And once again, moving forward. It's going to be the offense of mutants. Question is, how can you try and stop the re-engagement here? Halo might be cooking it. Don't know if they can get there in time. They can't. Oh, this is a huge investment for not being able to touch. For Kaniacs, this could be economically ruthless. They need to win this and win it cleanly. But remember, if that cart does not move forward, that door will stay open. And it's going to be easier for the Mutant's offense to move forward thereafter. Harvey, shotgun here, in the hands of Cal. Can they find their man? They can find Ant and get rezzed up here. They really want that cart to move forward so the door will close behind it. But for now, 
it's all about just stalling for time. The re-engage here with the help of those close spawns has been huge for the size of mutants. And honestly, I think the Kaniacs may have put that one to bed just by investing too much. So how do you retake this now? Without your Punisher ult, without your Amplifier. It's down to Frost. Maybe going to copy Cal, try and get themselves a quick usage off the Judge, Jury, and Executioner. And goes up first. There's the Amplifier, a secondary res beacon as well. And just has eyes on so many up on top. Cal so low. Can the shot be hit? You better believe it. Cal is gone. Could be res here. In fact, it's going to be Dust who's res once again. And Wisps tries to reveal the pressure or relieve the pressure by going up towards the sky. It's quickly burned and Ant has now got an angle on them. It's anybody's game to play at the moment, but it seems the defense are at least standing in the way of a car and stopping forward progress. Dust and Pella move together. Three people caught within that. The Loki shift is going to give everyone the healing they need to survive the Groot ult. So overall, that's going to amount to not too much except an expenditure of resources. Now Dust is forced to disengage. And Pela caught elsewhere. Wisp managed to win the Hella Duel, and that's going to relieve a lot of pressure as Dust just goes too far forward. I'm not sure where he thought his healers were, but the Res Beacon certainly at least has been available. And now Vinny's going to be able to get in the way. Still, you can't stand up against the Punisher. And the Doctor Strange for long goes too far, overextends himself, punished for it, but he's rezzed. And it's still anybody's game. I think that we've got ourselves a nifty little flank coming in here from Wisps. But at this point, SJP is just putting out too much damage. But Aya Vagamodo gets both of the Rocket Raccoons. Dust is going to be able to break them down quickly with the E, but the anti-heal remains for a couple of seconds after that's expelled. Still a Reza Beacon available here for the defensive Kaniacs. And this is where it's going to start to get difficult to really break in. Cal still has an ultimate if it's needed. And with only two minutes remaining for mutants, this is by no means an assured capture. Feeling aggressive. My Taking God. risks to try and get... Oh, my goodness. What a play coming through from TTK. Absolutely ruining the back line. They did not see him coming. I think that was a three or four man Agamotto on multiple squishies. The follow-up is just too easy. And now Wisps needs to pop off on this angle. Needs to relieve the pressure. Will be able to grab themselves a Mega. Looks like there's incoming danger. And now, how do you deal with these spawn doors? It's so easy for Vinny to try and lock them down. I'm not sure if TTK has what they need to make this work. A judge, a jury, an executioner. Harvey's the one who's bringing it forward this time. There's the amplifier nonetheless. Vinny takes out Pela. Frost is down as well. Two groups is still not enough groups when you're in front of an amplified Harvey. And that's going to be three to three with a slight time advantage for mutants. Time to switch things up. Including Looking at your scoreboard here, here Pela has taken 77k damage. My goodness, that is being levied heavily from SJP. Look at that, 27k coming out of the Punisher. 37 and 9. Absolute blaster. And it doesn't hurt that Harvey is just aiming so well on the Loki. We saw this happen last time as well. Harvey was winning consistent duels against Hydron in the Mutants versus... Uh, in the Mutants versus Wholesome match. And I think that's one of the reasons why we consistently saw mutants getting one over on Wholesome. Because we, we didn't see the same from Hydration. Hydration was not able to beat Ant that, that regularly. So often the Hella flank was getting a lot of value. Honestly, credit to Ant for like... The flank managing to find both the... Uh, if I believe the enemy Hella and the respawn beacon at the start was a, a huge discombobulator of a movement. Let's have a look and see if there's any positions to be had here. It seems like uh, people don't prefer their portal plays at the beginning here. Portal plays to recontest often seem to be de rigueur. Or the strat de jour for this particular map going to be a defense first from the mutants as they do have a larger time bank and once again i'm going to be looking to see what cal can do to really clean up these high grounds you want to see ant challenged on these often there's not as much room for the off from the off angle on the defense so it's very mono directional defense oh wisps up in the air the third shot is missed an off angle potentially coming through from a portal it needs to be contested a wall is raised by Vinny. 
and that may well be all that they have to do to try and stop the value out of that portal. Remember, that's not going to be available for a recontest now. And that could be important as we get later into the point. Cal, they have the off angle. They desperately want to find the other Punisher. TTK, perhaps a touch overextended. Wisps is going to have to use up that respawn beacon to return to the fray. Oh, if you can get, if you can get Nuke, it's the most valuable pick and Cal finds it. They're popping off now. SJP forced to disengage. This is going to be forward motion on the card right now as TTK has an eye of Agamotto to play with. But do you want to invest it when you are this far behind? With Vinny down, rezzed up, it's going to be a new calculus for TTK to continue thinking about. There's a block that could happen here. Getting past Dust. You know it can't be blocked. Two players are given over here. But look, Vinny's peeling for themselves. A judge jury. An executioner. Cal, they're on the off angle. But they're bursted on down. There wasn't enough attention paid by the supports. Perhaps a double amplifier coming through here from both Harvey and Nuke. So much damage to be done. But it's for Kaniacs who just roll forward when the chips are down. Hitting the shots. One amplifier is more than enough. I don't even know if they stack. But this could be ruinous for the side of mutants. They invest four huge ultimates in that fight now only Vinny and ant remain but if they can grab people in and burst them down with that hella ultimate we are in overtime you need to stay on cart here if you are the caniacs and that is a disadvantage that needs to be considered when you look at these fights already a shift coming out from the loki that's going to be another res beacon set up and another amplifier as well. At this point, maybe you're just playing for the distance. TTK overwhelmed was un... What was this? Maybe an ill-considered Eye of Agamotto from Dust, but still it opens for space. And now with the longer spawns of overtime, it might be difficult to even get in and touch this point. You've got to deal with the walls of Pela. And Dust is playing the off angle here. There's still a res beacon so close that's unaccounted for. TTK and Vinny isolated here. The group ult does come out, yes, but Dust is more than able to try and keep everyone protected up in the air. Just not much can be done by Ant. Both Wisp up there as well. It's just a better location for Wisp to play from. And Mutant's defense is falling apart. Judge, jury, what is Cal cooking here? What is Cal cooking it? A cow might be stuck inside the car. Cal's stuck inside the car. Uh oh. Okay, Cal has managed to pop out. Did expend their ult though. Unfortunate. Res beacons in a good place here. Walls being used. Nukes already used that amplifier. Trying to find an early fight. Look at how much damage SJP is going to be doing. Can absolutely carve through anyone who stands before him. You've got to try and use the physical cover. The cart is the best cover available at the moment because it can't be broken. SJP traded after picking up Cal. And I think that too many have been taken off of this cart. This is likely curtains for the Kaniacs, but not without a considerable distance accrued. Unbelievable push from the Kaniacs. Time to switch things up, including which side you're on. My goodness, that opening pick from Cal. They found the most valuable player. Nuke has been a true difference maker for mutants and the only player who can't be rezzed. MVP play there by Cal. And after that, once again, we saw that mutants defense... Uh, mutants defense did take a while. Momentum seems to be the big controlling factor in this game. Like, you have to give up so much space to actually play a fight correctly. And if you don't manage to get that, then uh, if you just stagger in, which some of these teams are doing inadvertently multiple times, then things start to go wrong real quickly. 25 final blows from Ant already. Not so many for SJP, but the scoreboard says he's participating in far more kills. 40-11. Holy damn. And 40 and 8 for TTK, who has been absolutely popping off on the Doctor Strange. It's because of TTK that we even saw mutants get that much of a, of a push, honestly. Dust has also made their own mark on this game with that fire eye of Agamotto at the end of their push. The battle starts in five, four... But it all comes down to this. Actually, the first map comes down to this. If you can believe it, this is the first map of a best of seven. I think I may die by the end of this. <laughs> Just 
pressure over positions from a high ground for now. Cal and West flying a little bit monodirectional, but we've talked about how this is often the case on the defense. We do actually have a hella flank going on over here. I believe Dust is actually trying to control that, but Ant is a formidable duelist who cannot be underestimated. And Dust is actually going to be forced to... Dust loses the 1v1! There must have been additional damage coming through. Yes, the resurrection is there, and now Cal has to try and push this as well, but Ant manages to pick up the health pack. And at this range, the hell is likely going to win those duels. The backup is here, and now Cal is isolated. They're likely to just be taken away. How did Cal get that? What a absolute fumble coming through from mutants to allow the Kaniacs to relieve this pressure. Cal unlikely to be raised considering the depth of that flank, but that should have been an easy pickup for Ant. I'm going to try and play off the backside now. The shift from the Loki is a huge pickup even for that flank. If Ant is dislodged from here, they've still done their job. A pair of amplifiers. The visual mess is about to become huge, but the Kaniacs, they are managing to find themselves some kills. Wisps is going to get pulled on up as SJP wondering if they need to use their ultimate, given what's been do done already. It seems that SJP is likely just going to call this one here. Cal down, and still, they're not forced to stay on cart at the moment. Given that there's a longer time bank for the side of mutants, they aren't going to be as constrained in terms of the positions they need to take this early before overtime. Oh, Dust early picked again. This cannot become a motif for the side of Kaniacs. This can't become a motif. The defense is scrambling for a moment, but they never only need to win a single fight. At this point, it, all, it could all come down to economy. And the economy right now is bustling for the side of mutants. They are popping off. Five ultimates are available, and of course, Harvey can bring up the same amplifier that we saw previously. A portal towards the top, a drop down is given. And SJP decides for this time to try and get rid of all those who would transmit themselves upon the car. Already Dust is down. Pela two. Only one can be rezzed. And Cal is still managing to fire through here on the defense. Playing the angle with the portal. Going to move on in with a shotgun now. Wants to take down Vinny. Eyes on Ant. And eyes do serve them well. Still the car is moving. Taken off the zip line before it can be used. And Harvey's copy here of the Rocket Raccoon has done more than enough. And now, you are feel, feeling real danger if you're Kaniacs. You invested five ultimates in that last fight. TTK still has one. We'll be able to portal on back. But one clutch play is all that it might take. It's anybody's game. But with Nuke coming up towards the amplifier as well. Cal has been found. They get picked off early. Is the resurrection beacon even in place? It doesn't seem so. Cal's going to take so long to get back. We're in a new area with no setup zip lines. And TTK... They can play the off angle here. If we see an overextension from Dust, there'll be nothing to shield this. By the eye of, of Agamotto. It's going to be counted out here using the Loki shifts. That forces it out from Frost. And now you've got to move forward into SJP, though. You've got to try and get in the way of this. Halo's already taken down. An amplifier is brought forth from reverse. And it's all going to come down to aim and aim alone. SJP is so close to the ultimate. Cal on the off angle taken down by Ant. Ant's taken down too. TTK joins. SJP's here as well. And guess what? There's no one to touch. Mutants are going to take it away in the end. But it was bloody close. Six to five. And my goodness, 54 and 13 from SJP. Dropping a 50 bomb in map number one. Jace, how are you feeling about that one?